Hello, hello, hello to all of my Aquarius. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your Sunday reading. Aquarius, hopefully you all had a fantastic or you're having a fantastic weekend. Don't forget to set your intentions, Aquarius. We had a solar eclipse. Uh, we also had a new moon, so it was a super new moon, meaning a super new you. We are trying to get geared up for this first quarter moon in Leo. That's going to kick off on the 27th of this month. So get your mind right. Get your mind right, Aquarius. It's a super new you. Super new you. Super new you. We had a new moon in Aries and then this uh, this first quarter moon in Leo. Both of them are fire signs. So anytime you're trying to do any kind of cleansing, Aquarius, you're doing it by fire. Anything you feel like you need to toss into the fire, you're doing it by fire, okay? Let's get into it. Let's see what your cards have to say. And you, and you know for Sunday, there are questions. Every Sunday there are questions. So this may go up on the 22nd. This may go up on Saturday in some parts of the world, but it may be Sunday already in other parts of the world. But trying to get you prepared for this um, this full moon that we have coming up where your universe is fully illuminated. We have a full moon coming up in Scorpio, but we'll get to that later. Right now, let's focus on just getting you to, you know, we're currently in a waxing crescent moon phase, right? Waxing crescent moon phase um it's just a reminder that without good clear uh, good clear plans our intentions will never be more than just that just good intentions right so you want to definitely put some kind of action physical and mental action behind manifesting the things that you want all righty now first card out of the deck is the queen of pentacles we have the star card the ten of swords we have the nine of pentacles the eight of swords and also the hierophant card all right, so somebody is definitely at a higher mindset. Like you just at a higher mind, you are more optimistic moving forward. Um, some of the things that may have happened, some of the things that's coming to me right now, Aquarius, in the super new moon, the super new you, especially being a fixed sign, some things may have happened to you during this um, during this uh, solar eclipse that really threw you off guard, you know, threw you kind of sort of off kilter a bit because you are a fixed sign. You may have been fixated on the way that you were doing things. So if source needed to put some extra steam up under you to really start doing some things, it could have been like juicing. It could have been like, let's say, for instance, you've been saying, I want to eat better. I want to, you know, I, I, I need to get more rest or I need to stop being so much of a workaholic. The way that God allows it to happen is allows a situation to happen where you have no choice but to get some rest. You have no choice but to start eating differently. You see what I'm saying as a fixed sign. So now that you're in this super new, uh, super new moon phase that you came out of, I do see somebody, like I said before, somebody just at a higher mindset, feeling more hopeful, more blissful more optimistic moving forward. You're at a higher mind. Um, you have this innate spiritual understanding of how things work when you're speaking things into existence. You're saying to yourself, hey, listen, you know what? I'm not afraid to go it alone. Here we have the Ten of Swords and also the Eight of Swords. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles and also the Nine of Pentacles. This is masculine energy. This is feminine energy. In order for me to be financially independent, because this is how people see you. People see you on a the throne. They they uh, they hold you in high regard, Aquarius. We're not talking about whether you're a celebrity or not a celebrity, right? You're celebrated by somebody, so you're somebody's celebrity, right? So, but people hold you in high regard. They hold. They see you as a person who is down to earth, quite relatable, Aquarius. Um, somebody that they'd like to, you know, get next to, like somebody who has this stuff together, and that's your, that's who you are, right? So remember. In this waxing crescent moon phase, it's just a reminder. Without good, clear plans, your intentions will never be more than that. Just good intentions, right? So some of the things that you want to do to start preparing yourselves for financial independence, which is this right here, is speaking up. Is speaking up. If there's anything that's affecting your money, anything that's that's including overgiving loved ones money. That's including um, that includes giving up all of your time to, to, to things that you've said they you've you've said things over and over and over again to people and how to manage their time. They keep coming to you for how did you do this and how did you get this and how did you and you're saying the same things over and over and over again. Remember, time is money, right? And so you got to physically and mentally. That's how you're going to physically and mentally achieve financial independence. Even if that means you got to go it alone, it doesn't have to be this. Um, this is self-sabotage. 
to keep overthinking things. Like I can't even see, I can't even see financial independence for me because I'm so busy giving and giving and giving and giving and giving of so many people around me, whether it's your significant other, whether it's your adult kids, whether it's your parents, whether it's your time. It's like somebody is just literally cutting into their own money. This is sword energy right here with the overthinking of things when some action needs to happen, right? Also, um, waxing crescent moon phase provides the energy that you need to make necessary changes so that you can slowly draw all the things that you want towards you, right? So visualization is a very powerful tool during the, um, during the waxing crescent moon phase. It's going to help you in this process. Also, you can visualize the thing that you want in as much detail as possible. You can imagine how it would feel to attain it and how it would change your life in a very positive way. You can visualize and affirm it every single day alongside your clear plans to harness the waxing moon's energy to drive you and your intentions forward. Here we have the high priest. We also have the two of wands. We have the king of pentacles. We have the six of pentacles. We have the high priestess, the king of wands, and also the two of wands. High priest came out twice, right? So again, this is how people see you. They see you as a person who is really, really tapped in, somebody who is truly at a higher mind, right? Somebody who knows when to just really rest, somebody who is committed to living your absolute best life, both in your personal and your professional life. Plus, somebody is also psychic. You could have, you know, psychic gifts. You, you feel things, right? When we're talking about um, um, someone who is um, highly intuitive, someone who knows, who knows the unknown, they could come to you, that information can come to you in a dream. And in instantly information comes to you because, again, you're at a higher mind. Here we have the king of pentacles. So you got the king and queen of pentacles. This lets me know that, whether you're in a romantic relationship or not, or in a business situation or not, you're moving towards every day, you're moving towards financial independence. This is the nine of pentacles, but you're also highly regarded and highly respected, but you're also moving towards material wealth. This is the wealthiest card in the deck, Aquarius. So again, you know, source was going to keep sending information to you. Some kind of an approval is also coming somebody's way. That could be an approval for a home loan. It can be an approval for a raise or something at work. You can start being booked and busy. It's a lot of great things coming your way because, again, somebody had to... You know how, like, when a person is... You know how like when you've eaten something that just doesn't agree with your body and your body rejects it, right? So right now, somebody is learning how to reject the things that just doesn't leave a great taste in your mouth, right? It's like, you know, if I've dealt with certain things, I'm learning how to reject those. I'm learning how to stand firm on getting that out of my body, the fear, the doubt, the uncertainty about things moving forward. We have the King of Wands. This is a person who has king of their ideas king of initiating, king of moving things along. When I feel that stress, I can toss it into a fire pit and I can sit down and I can, through visualization, which is very powerful, Aquarius, I can visualize a way around certain things. Here we have the two of wands. Tons of opportunities are coming your way, Aquarius. So get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. A lot of times people will say, because they're still stuck in the eight of swords, have we been talking about money all this time? And how come I haven't seen money? Do you still have energies in your life right now where you are afraid to speak up? Because this is what it looks like for somebody. Somebody is afraid that if they speak up and they say something, they're going to be by themselves. And that could be the very thing that's blocking your wealth. So whoever or whatever it is in your life where you feel like, okay, you know, you, you see, you've already been in the Ten of Pentacles, but see on this particular card, the person is still standing. You've already been the brunt of jokes. You've already been the person who people have talked about real smear campaigns, all of that. And guess what? You're still standing, right? So if there's anything in your life right now where you feel like I need to put, the, I need to pump the brakes. I need full stop on this. Because some, some people, some again, energies are taking my kindness for weakness. I don't need to overthink this. I need to be in receiving mode of some things that I've been thanking source for in advance. And that's what I need to do, right? Two of wands, king of wands, right? Let's keep it moving forward, Aquarius. And then again, we get let's get ready for some questions for you. Let's get ready for these questions. Sunday's questions, Sunday's questions, Sunday's questions. Again, this reading is for the 23rd of April through the 23rd of May. This is a general reading. Take only what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below in the comments section. 
um, in the, I'm sorry, in the uh, description section, but also I have a second channel. The only second channel I have is called the Knowledge Channel. If you want to go check that out, we're going to start putting more information up on the Knowledge Channel. Some of you all have been sending me text messages asking me if I can cover certain topics. The answer is yes. I have a list of things that you all want me to cover, but I want to make sure there's going to be some engagement on that channel as well. So, you know, that's that's the information. That's the information right there. All right, Aquarius, let's keep it rolling forward. Here we have the Ten of Swords. See, this lets me know right here. See, these are the same exact cards, but look at all of this. All the things that have been said about you behind your back, the plot and planning, none of it worked. Here you are right here. As a matter of fact, those people are going through a tower moment right now, karma going through a tower moment because of all the things that they did to try to destroy your reputation, your credibility, all of those things, Aquarius, guess what? You're still standing despite what they tried to do, right? You've already been through a long and arduous journey, a lot of hurt, a lot of all kinds of things right here, but you're not going back through that same thing. So there may, there may be some people that you're not going to call again. There could be some people from your past. Like I said, it's, it's one thing we say, been there, done that. Source will keep bringing things around to make sure you know how to put those demons under submission. If your demons have been, I'm, I'm fearful that I'm not going to have any friends or I'm not going to have a love interest or I'm not going to have such and such if I simply say no when it comes to money or when it comes to, or I'm going to pump the brakes when I feel like somebody was disloyal or insecure around me or unstable mentally or physically, or they weren't vital to my success as I know that I am to theirs or um, they have been impatient with me and I've been patient with them and I, and, and, or I feel like my career is going to be less successful, can continue giving, 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 giving. If your only fear was that if I say no, that they're going to leave me, that's a demon that God wants somebody to really start to work out. Like visualize yourself saying no and being okay with whatever happens after that. Okay. Here we have the tower moment. So again, there's some people who are definitely going through a tower moment, you know, in your life's an awakening, right? Some kind of an awakening, right? So you work really, really hard. This is the ace of, this is the ace of pentacles. That's me know that you work really hard to earn where you are. So like I said before, it's just like a person who ate something that just didn't agree with your body and it came right back up. And a lot of them may have come back up for you to a point where you may have felt spiritually dehydrated. Keep drinking your water so you can find out exactly where your cracks are in your foundation. So here we have the seven of cups, seven of cups lets me know that the inner, the enemy is trying to tempt somebody to vibrate low to kind of sort of find out what's going on. Like, you know, who may be going through, um, who may be going through, um, a tower moment. Remember a tower moment is just energy. We're talking about where are you placing your energy? You're only putting your energy towards moving forward, not moving backward, something having to do with money. Um, and connected to somebody else, whether they're currently still in your life or a part of your past, it was trying to draw you backwards. And while you may have compassion for the energy, you are not going back at all. Okay. There's a lot of temptation to go back, but you're not going back at all. Matter of fact, during this waxing crescent moon phase, you're not going back to doing what you used to do. You know, like I said, a lot of people have said and did things behind your back that was really hurtful, painful, you've already been through it. You've already been through this, right? You've already been through it. So sources like, do you want to go back through that feeling like you, you've just come out of the hospital when source has already gotten all of that out of your system, gotten it all out of your system. Okay, Aquarius, here's some things you can do during the waxing crescent moon. One, you can work on your confidence. You can write these down if you want to. This is waxing crescent moon. This is what you're focusing on during the waxing crescent moon phase. Work on your confidence, your self-confidence. Another thing, second thing you can do is form your intentions and set out a clear plan of action. Three, you can anchor your intentions by focusing on one thing as your priority goal. Four, you can use visualization. Five, use positive affirmations. I'll give you positive affirmations at the end like I do every reading. You can also, uh, six, write out your intentions and read them every day. Write out your intentions and read them every single day. All right, we're getting we're getting geared up, Aquarius, for a uh, an, for a first quarter moon in Leo. First quarter moon in Leo, which kicks off on the twenty seventh of this month. So you want to write these questions down. Yeah. So Leo is ruled by the sun. Leo. Um, 
is like a royal sunshine focusing on our creativity and bold expression, grace and courage, right? And so when a moon is in Leo, this kind of giving us the fire that we need to not be afraid, you know, to shine and get noticed. It's also your polarity sign, right? And so it not, and it's not even ironic that your card in tarot is the star card. The sun is also a star, right? So this is where you're okay with, you're not intentionally trying to to shine brighter than anybody else. You'll notice, Aquarius, that your whole life you've gotten attention by the way you look, by the way you talk, the rhythm in your voice, the 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 everything about you has always gotten attention, right? So now you're saying, okay, I don't have a problem with getting attention. I've already been talked about. I've already been people have already run smear campaigns. They've already done X, Y, and Z, and I'm still standing despite all the things that people very close to me have done to me, right? So here's your questions, Aquarius. This is what you want to write down. This is for this is what you want to focus on this week. Remember Sunday questions, and then we have motivation on Monday, but this is going to help you get through this week. All right. First question is, do you connect to your core and your center daily? You know, we're talking about your solar plexus chakra, getting your core. Do you do core strengthening exercises, some kind of core strengthening yoga? You can look it up online, right? So one, do you connect to your core, your center daily? Second question is, and also you can listen to solar plexus chakra music if you want to. Second question is, how do you express your creative side? Third question is, is your current wardrobe really expressing who you are? You know, maybe you get different color, you know, lenses for your glasses, or maybe you wear, you know, different types of shoes or whatever. Does it express you like this? That's your, do you have signature pieces? That kind of thing. Fourth question is, do you protect your energy and your time by politely saying no to requests and invitations that are not aligned with, to your being? And then last but not least, Aquarius, could you create more time and space for self-exploration and self-expression? Yes. So, all right, so those are the questions that you have. Remember, Leo symbolizes sovereignty and agency, and it invites you to govern your domain um, with inner knowledge, wisdom, and grace like a wise king or queen, right? You're precise in your words, um, and you're precise in your words and your action. The manifestation of mature Leo energy is being the master of your own mind and body, leading you with life, leading you with compassion and compassionate discernment right? So again, you already know what was said about you behind your back. You're not afraid moving forward. You know, it's like been there, done that, got the t-shirt to prove it, you know, you know, not trying to, you know, not trying to hurt anybody, but I'm moving forward, right? So here we go. Justice card. Justice is in somebody's favor. Again, like I said before, Aquarius, this lets me know that you may have severed ties with some energies in the past. A decision has already been made in your favor, Aquarius. And, and for some of you all, I see um, a business coming your way, like a business twin flame or a romantic twin flame coming your way, Aquarius. And again, what Source wants you to do is stay on your throne. Do not get off of your throne. Vet every single thing that comes across, including your own private thoughts that come across that could come across as negative the anxiety that you've been feeling about something is going away it's going away very very soon aquarius again the seven of cups came out twice because again something is trying to pull you backwards and again it's just a feeling that somebody's getting because your heart was connected to something from your past and so there could be two situations in particular for you all that again are trying to pull you back to the past. It could still be some conversations about you or whatever. But again, like something you've eaten, your body has already rejected those energies already. It's just like, you know what? I'm getting all of that out of my system altogether. If I, if I was kind of sort of fixated on my heart is in the right place, I know the backstory of this and um, you know, I'm confused or I'm conflicted in some way, shape, form, or fashion because you're at a higher mind and you're seeing things from a higher perspective. And again, you've already started the process of forgiving energies. Um, sources saying to you, yeah, the enemy is going to try to tempt you to see if that's really your, the enemy is going to try to tempt you to see if you're still in this headspace of feeling like, um, if I cut certain energies out of my life, I'm going to be by myself. Remember, we have almost 9 billion people on the planet. By yourself doesn't mean that you are not married or doesn't want, don't want to be married or don't want to go into business with people or don't want to. You could have a nice, close, tight-knit circle of friends, 
But something about you has definitely changed, Aquarius. Something about you has definitely changed. And like I said before, you have an enormous amount of compassion, but you're not going backwards at all. Here we have the Page of Wands. Is this some new inspiration that's going to keep you moving forward? That inspiration, like I said before, could have been God saying, okay, I need to put you on your back for a couple of days so you can rest, so you can get these messages through to you all, Aquarius. But however the messages are coming across, they are coming across. If you need any help in terms of like what, um, you know, th this is why the Leo is going to make sure is pulling out your purpose. What is your purpose? You'll know that you're landing on the bright side of the moon in Leo if you feel more exuberant, creative, broad-minded, colorful, and fun-loving. In contrast, you'll know the people who landed on the dark side of the moon in Leo that's coming up on the 27th of this month. If they are more self-indulgent, self-centered, conceited, overbearing, and even bullying, okay? As an Aquarius, as an air sign, a moon in Leo, um, for you, um, lends a dynamic, compelling quality to your people-oriented personality, right? So again, it's a little bit more fired up, especially when you're operating in your purpose. You feel like you have a lot more energy. You're like, I, I feel healed in my purpose. So that's where I'm staying right there in my purpose and letting God show me everything. Okay. All right. Let's get ready to close this out, Aquarius. Let's get ready to close this out. Let's get ready to close it out. So congratulations to you all. Like I said, somebody's heart matters have definitely been over everything else. Your heart has been in the right place, Aquarius, and that, that overly giving has put you in a position. I know you all are the smartest sign in the Zodiac Aquarius, but when you overgive, you're putting yourself in a position for people to not think you're as smart as, and then they'll get you frustrated and say something that could, you know, cut someone to the core when it doesn't have to go that way at all, Aquarius. It doesn't have to go that route at all. That's what I'm trying to help you all with, like not getting to the point where now I got to say something hurtful to a person, and now they're looking at you like you're the bad person. It doesn't have to go that far. Five of Swords, the Hangwoman. We have the Wheel of Fortune, the Emperor card. We have the Seven of Wands and also the Page of Wands. And so um, something from your past just keeps trying to pull you backwards. You know, it could be some talking, some conversation that you're catching wind up only because you're at a higher frequency. Remember, at the highest frequency, a lot of things come to you a lot quicker, including information you want to hear about and information you don't want to hear about because you're at a higher frequency. And so remember, Mercury is also retrograde. Mercury is the communication planet. planet planets don't move slowly and they don't move, they don't move backwards, right? Gives that illusion. So it gives you an opportunity to slow down. And if you're a person who is a workaholic, God may have put you on your back to make sure you sit down and pay attention and listen to what's happening, what's going on. Don't get upset if all of a sudden, you know, you have no choice but to stay in the house and lay in the bed or you don't, you feel like, okay, I don't want to leave the house and I just got all these messages floating through. Get, pop out that journal because God is cooking up something really nice for you all. Here we have the page of wands. Yeah, it came out twice. Source is cooking up something really, really nice for you. A lot of, lot of great things are coming your way, Aquarius. And so Source is like, get authoritative. You know, put that fire up under yourselves. You all are in a position to help a lot of people, inspire a lot of people. And we also have this one right here, the hang, the hang person, or sometimes a hang woman, hang man. This is where you're sacrificing your old self. This is where you're surrendering your old self to Source. And you're saying, okay, this is the new me. So I'm going to be patient with the new me. It's a super new me. And so here we have the Wheel of Fortune here. And so this is, um, this is you know, some kind of unexpected changes happening in your life. And it's all good, though. Unexpected changes happening in your life. And I see you defending your position without coming across as defensive at all. Without coming across as defensive at all. This is where, again, you're sitting down, you're meditating, you're visualizing yourself. Um... You're visualizing yourself, like I said before, there's so much that has happened to you, Aquarius, that a lot of energies, a lot of things that have happened about, you know, happened to you behind your back, you, things that you've heard about, things that you know about, all of these things. And people in their mind feel like, because the sword cuts uh, both ways, a lot of people in their mind feel like um, you've done things to hurt them as well, right? Remember, everybody's feelings are legitimate. It doesn't necessarily make it the truth. It could be their truth and it could be your truth, but it doesn't mean it's the truth. But since we're talking about your universe, Aquarius, 
you have to decide how you want to proceed in your universe. You're divinely protected from a lot of things, and Source is going to continue protecting you from a lot of things. So don't let that just sit in your head. You know, you're already on the other side of a long and arduous journey, you know, um, from some things that really, really could have destroyed you. And for some of you all, it could have destroyed your mind, you know, at, at some point where you were just like sad, depressed, you know, felt really broken. Um, but remember, you have a lot of ancestors around you. You are not by yourselves. You have a lot of ancestors around you helping you through this entire process. Some of the things that you can do to make sure your solar plexus and your heart chakra are back in alignment. Since we're talking about tossing things into a burning bowl and not giving a whole lot of air to it, like not fanning the flames with something, right? Some of the things that you all can do, um, you know that you're, um, and the reason why we talked about your, you know, like having something bad to eat and it coming back up, you'll know that your, your solar plexus chakras are out of alignment if you're experiencing some kind of digestive issues, right? Or... Um, chronic fatigue or constant confusion or indecision or low self-esteem or even collapsed chest posture. On the flip side of that, you'll know that it's out of alignment if you're feeling, you know, you were bullied in the past or people were easily enraged or um, you always felt like you were hurried to make decisions before you even had a chance to even process a lot of things that were going on. Some of the things that you can do to pull it back together, essential oils are lemon essential oil, peppermint essential oil, ginger, black pepper, cardamom, myrrh, pine, sage, essential oil. Some of the uh, stones, citrine, topaz, tiger's eye. Do I have tiger's eye up here? Yep, this is what tiger's eye looks like. Tiger's eye also looks like this, right? Get it together. Yeah, um, you know, tiger's eye, um, um, golden calcite. You can look up some more online. But like I said before, um, I'm seeing, I'm seeing you all learning how to really balance some things out with the unapologetically balancing your life out. So get grounded. That's right. Many of the most evolved beings on earth are regular folks living with joy, dignity, and courage. That's right. Let's pull some more cards and let's close it out, Aquarius. Let's get ready to close this out. Let's get ready to close it out. So your goal is to land on the bright side of the moon. We're currently in the waxing crescent moon phase. Here we have oak, number 27. 27 reduces to nine, which is a death rebirth. Here we have don't just look within, dive deeply into the eternal realms of knowing. Like I said before, you know, if, if you've eaten something, since we're talking about sources cooking up something great for you, here and here, right, trying to keep you motivated, and something didn't agree with you, like people running smear campaigns and, and being committed to misunderstanding you, all of that could have come back up, right? Could have come back up like, okay, I ate something that didn't agree with my body. And I remember what didn't agree with my body. And I, and I have, when I think about, you know, my digestive system and, and, and how, you know, I have, um, it, it's caused problems, you know, in that area, like I said, it could have given you some kind of nervous jitters about some things. That's your solar plexus chakra being out of alignment. That's where your confidence, your motivation, your personal power, your ego, your identity are. This is where it's developed between the ages of 15 and 21. You want to get those back in alignment. So listen to lower chakras music, Aquarius. Lower chakras, lower chakras, lower, lower, lower. So just like this oak tree, you're getting rooted and grounded and getting ready for an absolute, ama absolutely amazing life. If there's one or two things that you still have outstanding where you're like, I'm not sure if I can let those things go. Sources so like those are the things that's standing in the way because you don't have to cut people off completely. You can just learn how to say no. And if that means that they cut you off, then, then you know what it is. You know what it is. Answer, you know, you got your answer, you know, crystal clear burning bowl yep burning bowl ritual number seven that's where your answers are going to come toss things into a burning bowl i'm tossing them to the burning bowl fear uncertainty doubt whatever your demons are i'm tossing them into a burning bowl right now today when you watch the video i'm tossing them into a burning bowl it's a super new me a super new me oops this card tried to jump out number 44 i am supported 
Your angels are encouraging you to continue on your present life path with diligence and determination, and even greater success will come in the future. So this is your number, 44. Let's pull uh, some more cards and let's close it out. Do, 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 do. Let's pull Moonology card and let's close it out, Aquarius. Be grateful for when your body rejects things. That's another way of God. Like I said, there's signs and wonders all around us. When that's God's way of saying there's something in your life that you need to release, something you need to release, right? Something didn't sit well with you. Pay attention to all of that. Here we have, look at the bigger picture. Look at the bigger picture. You're looking at it from an expanded view. This is also fire energy, but it's a mutable sign. And so um, this is where sources say, um, you know, come up out of that fixed energy so much when it comes to feeling like if I say no to certain people, if I tell people no when it comes to money, or my heart may be in the right place, but when I say no to certain things, and people get upset or enraged or they want to play the, you know, silent treatment game or that kind of thing. Because the same God that you went to, that's where you, that's where you got it from, was from source. They can go to the same God, right? So uh, affirmation card and let's close it out. So source is saying to you, look at the bigger picture. You're teaching people how to fish instead of giving it to them. You're teaching people. Freedom. Affirmations for freedom. I am free to be me. I am free to live fully. I am present in this moment. I am not bound by my circumstances. I am stronger than fear or doubt. I have the power to create a new reality. That is what I have for you, Aquarius. Thank you so much for joining me again. This reading is for the 23rd of April through the 23rd of May. I'm trying to get you prepared for this full moon, but we got to get through the to the first quarter moon first, but we're currently in a waxing crescent moon phase phase and so hopefully these things will help you stay on your throne we got the king and queen of pentacles here we got the queen of swords yeah we also have the queen of cups and so we have the king of wands so this is very regal energy this is very royal energy source is trying to get you in all of your elements to stay on your throne aquarius and so and anything that wants access to you, it has to abide by your rules, your guidelines. That's what I have for you. And I'll see you on Motivational Monday. Bye.